Hello, hello, and welcome, y'all. So this is actually going to be the second phase of this art piece. And um, as you can see, what I've done is I've come in and I've placed painter's tape <clears throat> around the art that has already been painted on the canvas. And then basically going to do a pour on the rest of the canvas. Okay, um, and this is going to be the first time that I try this kind of pour. I um, I, ca I can't remember what the name is. I, if it's a, I think it's called a dirty pour. Um, and yeah, so I apparently need a, a eleven ounces or more of paint. Okay, to cover this size canvas. Now, um, let me see. I am using. <laughs> Okay, so it's a this is a 12 by 16 um, canvas, 12 by 16. I might need a little bit more than, than that, but I'm going to be basically using um, a scale and a cup to um, measure out the amount of paint that I'm going to be using. Um, maybe I should bring it over here so you guys can see it. Yeah. I have all of the colors that I'm going to be using here off to the side. Um, so this is another request actually. And my fiance wanted something. Um, <clears throat> it's called uh, the inconspicuous demon. <laughs> so it's like, it's really cool because you wouldn't think that this is what it is, but it is what it's supposed to be. And um, that's the cool thing about it. It's inconspicuous. So. Um, the request was to use, I have, I have my, my notes here. I always, I always sketch out my ideas and colors before I, before I do anything solid or like before I make it or create it, uh, before I actually create it. So the colors that were requested are orange, lavender, red, royal blues or dark blues, gold and pink very interesting colors. So I have already started off using some of those colors in the original artwork already. And then I'm going to attempt to do a dirty pour, I guess. I think that's what it's called. I could be completely screwing up what kind of pour this is, you guys. So um, if, if, if it's wrong, I'll be sure to correct it in the photo, in the editing. <laughs> so <clears throat> yeah, so really interesting colors. I've never done this before, so I don't know how the heck it's going to come out. But hopefully I don't completely screw up <laughs> the um, colors. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get this thing on so that I can get this going. All right, so whew, yeah, so um, I'm going to start off with... Um, a brilliant blue as the base. Yeah, and then I'm going to add some reds. Um, then I'll add the red. Then I'll add, yeah, so I'm just going to, let's just see what we get. <laughs> um, yeah.
So this is what it looks like before putting it in. Um, looks pretty interesting. Okay, let's see what we get. See what this does. I'm going to pour it in the middle. Okay, wish me luck. All right, this is pretty freaking cool. Okay, this is really interesting. I kind of really like the hard lines. Um, that the, the sprinkles of, <laughs> of paint that I put in afterwards made. I think I want to move this up a little bit more because I don't want to lose it. All right, this is pretty freaking cool. I really, 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 really like this. I like, I like the, I like what the orange and the purple and the gold did here. After the fact, I think that when I let this start to dry, that um, we're gonna see more of the colors come from underneath. Um, as expected, I mean, I really wanted more red in this, and I didn't really get that. And I think it's because it kind of just mixed in with the rest of it because it's a transparent red. And so I should have used a lot more crimson which is a, a is a opaque color. Um, but yeah, I mean, this, this looks pretty cool. I mean, it's nothing like what I expected it to be, but I think it did the job. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking some more reds would have been really freaking cool. Um, and yeah, these like cells that are, that are made over here look really stunning. Hmm. I wonder if I were to add some red to it, if it would, you know, what it would do. you guys I like it a lot I'm gonna leave this corner alone because I like the the very like transparent nature of some of the colors here um, it looks really cool what you're gonna be seeing next is the process of me completely losing the anamorphic triangle and horns that I initially drew on the canvas because it just wasn't going to work um, and so here's my process of untaping the anamorphic triangle and um, having to deal with the space that I have and then um, doing what I had to do and basically creating what it is that I wanted to create in the first place um, and you'll hear my fiance in the background whom I made this painting for. So I hope that you enjoy and learn from my mistakes. So I'm gonna record all of these mistakes that I'm making. I hope I didn't lose the tape. 
support for the tape for the uh, triangle. Just a little bit on this side. Yeah. Okay. Let's just rip it off now. Rip the band aid off. Yeah, you see? I knew it was gonna. Oh, damn. He even went through some of the. That would have looked so f I don't know if I have enough paint to cover it. You know what I could do? some paint and then okay. I mean that's the last thing I can think of to like cover this crap up okay. do, baby. I don't know we'll see <sighs> let me do this What happens when you mess up? You gotta fix your fails. I'm gonna, oh yeah, I'm gonna create puddles. It needs more. Hold on. More like blue. More blue to make it flow. thinking he's here. Where is he for you? Where do you see him? Yeah. I know, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, okay, maybe this is what's exactly what had to happen. It's for me to get him. Right?
So I'm starting here from the bottom. The original request was to have some sort of an incom inconspicuous demon come out in the picture. And so after fixing, after failing and having a complete meltdown, um, my fiance helped me figure it out. But we figured out that these two were the figures right here, especially here. They kind of look like they're dancing together. Um, and that's exactly what he wanted in an abstract form. So um, this is the rest of it. It's stretched out even more, um, but it still came out really cool. And this is a perfect example of how sometimes when you think that your end result is not what it should have been, still comes out to be what you wanted or what you actually needed to accomplish. So, ah, this was great. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. This is the um, final wet results here. And this is what we are calling inconspicuous demon.